And the last thing, well, well, actually, we're what, an hour and 12 minutes in, the last thing just is the news, is the pressing as And it is. Um, basically, I know that we don't want to get political at all, and I don't want to get political at all, but it basically boils down to Brexit, Trump, and now COVID-19, which is kind of giving them something legitimate to, yeah. The news basically tells us all the bad things and doesn't tell us all the good things, basically, and that's what that boils down to. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Um, I have to be honest, I am not massive into watching the news just because I do find it so depressing and it's it's difficult in a world that's already depressing enough than sitting down and focusing on that and I find at the minute I am not really watching like I know five o'clock every day we have our coronavirus update from Boris Johnson but I can't bring myself to watch them because it's the same thing over again this amount of people have died and and it's hard enough somebody to... will tell me whenever basically the restrictions have been lifted that's you know it, you don't need to watch it until until the restrictions are lifted because you know how bad it is I know how bad it is you know, I don't need to tune into the news to find out how bad it is because, you know, so somebody will post it on Facebook whenever the restrictions have been lifted and that's basically all I need to know. Um, yeah. Uh, totally. You know, like, does it matter how many people died yesterday or the day before? Or, you know, I know that people died yesterday and the day before. I'm sure they did. And I'm sure that it's a terrible number, etc. But it's not something that anybody really needs to know. Like, yeah. yeah. I think it's one of those things that yes at the end of all this if we have a number we can collectively mourn um everybody that's passed away from this and, and join together in that but i think every single day listening to that number going up and going up and going up and focusing well today was a wee bit less than yesterday's amount and 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 this is this day's worse and you know i i just think let's wait until the end and focus on it here let the people who need to know know you know like the scientists the doctors and the politicians and all of those that need to know how many people because they need to know what they're working with and all of that we don't need to know we don't need to focus on that day to day we need to focus on ourselves mm -hmm. we need to focus on getting through each day and finding a way to cope in that if we focus on all of the negativity of this year we're never going to make it through you know, we need to do, and, and that's the thing with with the news itself, it's, you don't talk about what's good. It is all the bad stuff, no matter what sort of, whether it's a pandemic, whether it's riots, whether it's, let's face it, we're from Northern Ireland, we have lived through the news trailing out every single bad thing that goes on in our country. And it's not good for your mental health to continually watch that like I've never I've never been one to focus on it because it just brings me down as soon as I start watching it mm -hmm. yeah it does my mum and dad listen to the news all day every day and I, I can't I just can't because I mean as you say it, 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 the way that the news is it tells you either the bad stuff or their opinion on the stuff um, you know and there's there's a time and a place for somebody's opinion and everybody's got entitled to their opinion etc but yeah the way that the news is designed is that good news very rarely makes the news you know um you know is it you know it, it's the bad news that makes the news it's not you know a hundred thousand people were lifted out of poverty today it's not you know a million people did not die of polio today it's not you know you know uh 100,000 people are cured from HIV today. It's, you know, that's not, that can't make the headlines. You know, it's not, you know, this company is researching a cure for global warming, which is happening. You know, it's not, you know, so it means that people get very hysterical about political causes because the news doesn't really report on everything that's being done to overcome the causes. It reports the problem and it doesn't report the solution. Uh, solution. Enough is something that I don't like about the news. And... The solutions, what it, what is being done, isn't exciting, but the problem is exciting, you know. Um, so it means that people think that they're living in a world full of problems, but basically, the world is getting better, and the news never reports that. No, no, and it's not 
it's like what you were saying earlier about Facebook and the and the negative posts and things that make you angry always get more views and more likes and more interaction, more engagement. That's just what the news is like. You know, it shares the bad stuff because people get sucked in more by that and people think, oh, this is awful and it gets you riled up. Whereas telling them, oh, we've done this, we've done that, it's so great, it's going really well. People are like, all right. You know, yeah. it doesn't rile you up the same. Yeah, so good news doesn't make headlines. And the thing is, there's, there is so much good news. You know, don't, don't have nightmares, do you sleep well? Uh, do you remember Jill Dando? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that's a kind of solemn note to kind of end things on. But, um, yeah. But, uh, you know, I remember that Crime Watch. And at the end of Crime Watch, every week it was Don't Have Nightmares, Do You Sleep Well. Um, but, like, I feel like the news should kind of report that at the end of every every kind of broadcast as well is kind of the world the world is getting better crimes are well in northern crimes pretty much throughout the uk are reasonably rare the crime rate's gone down massively over the last 30 50 years um your chances of being murdered today are much lower than they were in the 1980s um so i mean we're very nostalgic for pop culture back in the 1980s but the truth is about the 1980s is that there was a lot of crime back then you know there's a lot of murder a lot of rape a lot of, um, the, uh, there was obviously the Cold War, which was a real thing. Um, there was a lot more war, a lot more tyranny, a lot more, a lot more of bad stuff than there is today. And yet, we're here now. There are definitely bad things about today, i.e., social media. But you know, the world is getting better for better and worse. You know. Yeah, I mean, one thing I'm just realized one thing we didn't really talk about social media was the bullying aspect of it that's worth talking about um we yeah we're in our 20 minutes worst parts of it yeah it is i don't know whether you want to push it for another conversation um but if if you talk social media and how bad it is bullying is one of the worst parts and it causes most of the depression with it yeah i don't really know what else i have to add to it except for that unless you have anything more you want to add except for that and we're on an hour and 20 minutes here um, well, i don't know i mean it's just something that i mean lena commented there about the whole thing with um caroline flack and how much bullying goes on with that you know it's something that actually really interests me is how we spent a whole month of people doing the whole hashtag be kind thing and then once the whole coronavirus thing started, all of a sudden it's every man for himself and everybody got hateful again. And it's funny how quickly we can forget about being kind to others. And I think that is, maybe this is the note to end this on, is when you're on social media, be kind. Remember that the person that you're talking to on the other side of that computer is going through their own things and when you're typing to somebody, what you're typing doesn't necessarily come across to them as you mean it yourself because typing and talking are two very, very different things. There is no tone. So when you type something, if you're typing something sarcastic, it doesn't necessarily come across as sarcastic when you type it. You know, so be careful. Remember, at the end of the day, just because you're having a bad day doesn't mean to say you need to take it out on somebody mm. on social media. Maybe step away from social media if you're having a bad day because you might say something to somebody that you wouldn't necessarily say on a different day. But I think maybe maybe the good place to end, it, end this is saying, be kind, be nice to each other. You know, don't be a keyboard warrior. Sometimes we are braver on a keyboard than we would be if we were standing in front of somebody. That's not necessarily a good thing. Yes, yes. I think that is a good note to end it on. And I think after, well, an hour and 20 minutes, I think we've actually done quite well. I mean, I was expecting...